Guys, we are back with another video, and in today's video, we're going to have a look at Scizor. In my previous video, I told you guys why Scizor can be good in draft mode, and I played a game as Scizor against a perfect draft. Um, it wasn't draft mode because we had two Zoroaks on the enemy side and my teammate's side, but uh, this game was just really good because if you look at the draft, right, the enemies have Slowbro, Grusty, Blizzy, let's say the Dragapod is a Zoroark, and Lucario. And we have Umbreon, Inteleon, and of course Zoroark. If you are the last pick, and you see the enemy composition only having 80 damage, right? They seem okay, but this doesn't do damage. If you pick Scissor now, Scissor is so good to the draft. Like, Scissor cannot die. You have a support that is Eldegoss that can heal you constantly. When you charge your bullet punch before the game starts, or like before the initial fight starts, you get extra defense stats. And the enemies can never kill you because you have an Umbreon in your team. But you also have a like Scissor in the team, right? Scissor is the front line, Inteleon the back line. Just a really good Scissor game. And I will showcase it in, the, in today's game. Hope you guys are going to enjoy the video. And make sure to hit the like button. And subscribe to not miss future content. Alright guys, we are playing Scissor in the jungle with a really stacked uh, 5 stack. We are playing against Leon and Ochi from Kapi Babas. We have Lundaru and Marv. Lundaru was playing with Klaus team and Marv was playing with Jela Bingo. Second place in the Ice Cup plans. Obviously I was the Ice Cup champion. So this game is gonna be pretty fun in terms of me trusting my teammates. We are playing with double Xpecia, Xpecia Edigos, and Xpecia Umbreon. A solo queue game like this is just really fun to play, right? Like having a solo queue game where uh, you get competitive players or players that play Xpecia, it's already like, you can say like it's already a good game, right? So I'm gonna play Scizor requested by Kami. Obviously, if you have a membership, you can request the Pokemon for free. With an item bit, you're gonna play Bullet Punch. Scissor. And in this game, we are playing against uh, Slobro and the Lucario and the Chainsey. So we will most likely not get our double hit resets. But we will still play with double hit. Because I think double hit here can be good in terms of zoning the... Jumping away from the... Uh, scissor. From the, from the Zoroark. Is this a good scissor game? I explained to you before in my draft video. What can be a good scissor game? The enemies have no... Like guys, the enemies have no, only AD damage. Slowbro aside, that doesn't really do that much damage. They only have AD damage. So that means this is going to be a really good scissor game. I can just constantly dive the enemy's pet and they will not do any damage. Especially because I have Edigos in my team. We still have our focus band, so we're just going to keep fighting on the pet until we can score. Since we are playing attack bait, we just want to play a quest as aggressively as possible. Capybaras is like a strange team because Capybaras is like a team that plays unconventional top laners. They started playing Crusty top lane um, as a carry, but they also play like Slowbro top lane, right? It's like when you play against Capybaras, uh, when you are like a top laner like me, it's pretty frustrating to play against them because they're so unconventional and just, just really annoying to play against them. But if you get practice into it, and uh, you respect the matchup, it's gonna be fine. So we have Scissor, two stacks, level 9. Honestly, guys, the enemies have no AP damage. It's just a really good Scissor game. Like, I can't wait for Draft, even though like Draft is like 1400 plus only, the like cure. When you have like a good Scissor game in solo queue, I'm instantly gonna pick Scissor. One of my favorite characters when you play only against 80 damage. It's just fun to keep pressing buttons and just uh, be really aggressive. We're gonna use our Yard Poop early. We have like our cooldown reduction and then we're gonna spam our bullet punch. Keep spamming the bullet punch. And using the double hit to mark the enemies. We use another double hit afterwards. We're gonna stack a bit. Obviously, we play with competitive players, so they will let me stack. You could say they are also professional players because Marv was playing around uh, like. And then Orc was called Team Peps. And he basically earned money playing the video game, right? What you always need to keep in mind when you play Scizor is like to have your red buff. Red buff is such an important uh, buff for you. Obviously, you can play blue buff as well. Red buff is just really strong. Obviously, like, Zoroark just 
<laughs> Just give up. I think the perfect scissor game into the perfect uh, team teammates. It just I know this game is gonna be great, right? So we're just gonna keep focusing. Dual Q versus dual Q. And we're gonna abuse them by just keep addressing. But then still having 200k in this game, honestly. I can just do whatever I want in this game. <laughs> but having a little bit of damage, we're just gonna go away now. I don't wanna try too much. But yeah, I don't have my red buff up, so I will potentially just look, take the enemy red buff or my red buff. It's just really important to have the red buff uh, before you start the initial fight. Yes. The Slobber has Unite move and the Blizzy as well. But honestly, I don't, I don't think they can kill me. I never used my Focus Band. Like, they don't, they don't do damage. <laughs> Using the ultimate on the Blizzy, a cooldown reduction again, and then we just keep fighting. Fighting! Oh, the ambulance stole the, uh, the shield from the crystal, nice. Now we're gonna score. Maybe I'm getting my last attack rate stack. Nice. Now we're gonna push the regular key in. It's just a perfect scissor game again. Like in my previous like video where I explained how to play scissor, it's just like, the enemies can't do anything. Like, you have an energy ghost, you have double XP shot. You just keep jumping in. Before you fight, you want to make sure to hit at least one bullet punch. You get the defense stats. Uh, to make you unkillable. Nice. I still haven't activated my focus band. Oh, it's a potion left. We just keep fighting. Good decision by the Akavi to attack the Eldegoss instead of me because he knows he can't one shot me. Mm. I'm gonna go for level 30 now. This is gonna have the best game in Unite. The Zoroark is to achieve on top lane. We also got the bottom objective. Obviously, when you play with Marv and Nandero, it's just gonna be a great time in terms of. Uh, having a good bot lane that plays for objectives. I use a unite move, and I push them inside the unite move to stun them, and slow them, and then getting a double kill. Now we're gonna focus the Blizzy, because he potentially gonna use unite move. I like to use like focus Blizzy before he uses his unite move, because when he uses his unite move, he receives damage 50% from what the unite move has caused, right? So when he uses Unite move at 50% HP, and I focus the Zoroark, he's just gonna die um, because of the Unite move damage. So focus Blizzy before he uses Unite move, so he doesn't have the best impact in the game. No one v then now. I'm just having full HP again. I still haven't used my focus band, like, I don't know what this game is. Obviously, like, this is a bit greedy, so I'm just gonna leave. And I play the Mercury a bit better, but just running in for fun. And then getting the regular key on top lane. Getting the ultimate again. And potentially trying to push the top lane. Not gonna go too aggressive, but I'm level 14 scissor. With, like, focus band still up. I could technically play weakness policy instead of focus band. It's just, I think, when you play scissor jungle, and you play focus band, and you have the red buff and gank lane, it's e much easier for you to extend the early game lead to the late game, having the focus band up. But we're not gonna score, we're gonna wait until we can do a big overcut. One common mistake people do when regular key goes in at 2 minute mark, you can wait until the Rayquaza spawns, right? When the Rayquaza spawns, you do double damage, and it's gonna be really good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna score now, because I, I have the feeling that they will just break. I mean, I can use the ultimate before I can score. Obviously, like having the Eldegoss full and buff damage reduction, but also having the Slobber not doing any damage. It's just like they can't really kill me. The guy is playing smart though, he tries to focus the Eldegoss. Level 15 Scissor, we're just gonna keep running into the enemies. 
Mm -hmm. I'm assuming like this game, maybe we can break the record of the most failed damage if I'm keep engaging with like farming damage. Pushing him inside my Unite move so he can get to see it. And he cannot use ultimate. We're just gonna score again. Yeah, the shiny Rayquaza is added to the game, which is pretty cool. Obviously, if the Blizzard uses Unite move, he's gonna do a lot of damage. My focus pen finally popped one time in this game. <laughs> it's the first time my focus pen popped, I think. It's gonna get for life with the bullet punch. Now we need to be careful a bit. We don't have focus pen, but the enemies have like decent level as well. I let the enemies face check me and then I'm gonna fight them with my team this time. Like when you play Scissor, a lot of people that play Scissor, they just engage whenever they can. But you need to think about, is your team behind you? Can you engage? Do the enemies have abilities to kill you? Like if I engage there alone, with the slobber unite move me, I will probably die because I don't have focus pain. I'm gonna farm a bit more damage at the end of the game. Maybe we can get one more kill. Yes. This is the perfect scissor game into the perfect teammates having two competitive players but also having a really good Eldegoss playing around you. And it's just like a fun game, like I keep pressing my buttons and the enemies couldn't do anything. Just from the start honestly. 14 kills and 14 assists and we have 179 kill damage. This game. But like I said, this one is really good to drop if you get a uh, only AD composition and AD become. So thank you for the request. Eek the bitch.